so we're going live, me, in my niece, Melissa, to make scones. She asked to learn to make scones, so we're making scones. Um, so she already put two cups of flour in here, and then we already, the oven's at 400, and then we already have in this little bowl, one egg and some sour cream. So this is steady, one half cup of sour cream is sitting aside. So if you've ever wanted to know how to make my scones, which are pretty amazing, could do the same as so myself. You think they're good? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, then, then sure. learning. Okay, so two cups of flour. And then what's the next thing? Um, one teaspoon of baking powder. Okay, teaspoon of baking powder. Oh, and she learned the cool thing in the baking powder and the baking soda, the little <clears throat> lid thing that you can scrape it on. Okay. One teaspoon of baking powder. Next one, fourth teaspoon of baking soda. Fourth teaspoon of baking soda. Oh, you know what we forgot in the last batch? What? Salt. No, we did. Oh, we did salt? A fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Yep. But it's not on there. Why don't you write it on the recipe? Um, yeah, write it on the recipe. So after... After the ba the baking powder, then do a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Is that okay? Um, We're baking scones. Okay, here. So a fourth of a teaspoon of um, salt. Okay, and then now what do you do? And then like next after that we do. No, see the arrow, the this line and this line. Um. Also, look how what we're writing the recipe on. This is so. I love it. I asked Melissa to go get a piece of paper. She went and got her painting, and we're writing it on the back of her painting. Okay, so now then what do you do? Uh, add in a, and... In a bowl, add and mix. Mix, okay, so you can, how do you want to mix it? You can either do it with a spoon or your hands. Perfect. I'll get the butter. Oh, that's for, we already made one batch. Here's one batch. We made, oops, they just slid down the pan. We made one batch of gluten-free, and we're making one batch of full of gluten. Okay, we're just going to pop it in the oven, and then we'll keep an eye on it. Okay, do you want me to do the butter, or do you want to do it? You can. She's not a fan of doing the butter. So then you grate a stick of butter. We did wash our hands. You have anything to say to people that are watching? No. Nothing? Mm. <laughs> Nothing at all? Mm. You can come get in the picture. Mm. How about your pretty dress that I like? How smart you are? <laughs> I'm super smart <laughs> and I'm wearing a fashion over dress. Nice. We've worked with fractions. Oh, we're making scones. Hope you all stay safe. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, so the butter. Then, okay, you want to do that part? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You gotta really get in there. And then what's the most important part right now? Um, and pray for those who will eat them most. Okay. It's the most important ingredient. Mm -hmm. So who do you want to say a prayer for? My mom and my dad. Okay. And then you can kind of go and scoop it from the sides a little bit so that you get, sometimes there gets, there's just extra flour down at the bottom. So kind of still get in there and get it. Like see that big hunk of butter? Mm -hmm. You know, squeeze that so that somebody doesn't get like a giant hunk of butter. 
Except that might not be too bad. Okay, and then the next part, if you want to add chocolate chips, this is when you add chocolate chips or dried fruit or, but if you don't want to, you don't have to. So do you want to or no? Yeah. You do want to add chocolate chips here. Don't I find your dress? Okay, so this is where we learn about fractions because we used the half cup thing earlier. Okay, so add a half cup of whatever you want to add to it. You can add cinnamon, you can add nutmeg. Not a half cup, just some like a sprinkle or something, but we're making chocolate chip ones, so we're adding a half cup of chocolate chips. Or, what's another way to do half cup? Um, two one-fourths. Yep. That's it. Okay. And then, what do you do? Stir that up. Oh, you can use your hands or you can use whatever is laying around. Oh, did we put the sugar in it? Mm-mm. Did we do the sugar? Oh, we forgot the sugar. I need to add the sugar. Add a half cup of sugar. This is one fourth. Yeah, so more, if it's a half cup, then one fourth, one fourth. Yeah, that'll be fine. One time I made them, I was making them for somebody and I forgot to add the sugar, and they were really. Um, okay, I'll stir that in. It'll still be okay. Maybe we should have put this on my YouTube channel. Melissa informed me I have a YouTube channel. It's very old. Um, what was it? What's it called? Is it's it called I'm a Rebecca Nimrod. No, Rebecca Nimrod. So check it out. It's when my kids were really little and we were in Rwanda. It's pretty funny. My boys will be thrilled. My boys will be thrilled that we shared that. Chaz one time fell in a hole when we were in Rwanda, <laughs> and it's on there. Okay, so then now we do what? Uh, mix it. No, but how? What do we gotta put the what? What's the? What's your recipe say? Mm. Okay. Mix it. This one we're here. Then take what mixture or? So make a little well. Or use a spoon. Okay, so make a little well. So make the little well in the middle, and then add the wet mixture, which is one egg and half cup of sour cream. If you don't have if you don't have sour cream, you can also use um, plain yogurt. You could use strawberry yogurt, I guess. Just would maybe don't use as much sugar. Cool. Okay, I'll take this. You use the spoon, and then pull it from the outside into the center. Go outside in. And then as it starts to form to a dough, then what can you do? And you use your hands and mix. mix. We were Instagram live with two people watching us. What's up, JT? I don't know who else is on here. So if it gets really sticky on your hands, what you can do is you can use a spoon to kind of pull it off. Sometimes the eggs are big and... <laughs> okay. Let's see. Okay. Do you want to do more? Oh my God, come on, girl. It's okay. Maybe the dogs will eat it. Oh, wait. No, it has chocolate in it. I don't want them to eat it. Mm. Up, and here comes Magnolia. <laughs> here comes Daisy. The little dogs. You want to see the dogs? Here's the dogs. <laughs> Super cute. <clears throat> ah, look who's there. Look who just joined. The very bottom. Do you see that? Mikey Creed. Pops. Hi, Pops. 
Okay, so let's see. Let's see if we can make this. So the goal is to try to get it into a ball. So see if you can maybe try one hand. Let's clean off one of them. And it's kind of a learned art. So what you're gonna kind of do is you're gonna hold the bowl with this hand, and if it gets messy, it's fine. You kind of scoop and then scoop. You gotta like go like a look. You gotta scoop it and smash it. So you kind of scoop and smash, scoop and smash. You try to keep it in there. You kind of see if you can get it into a bowl. Uh, Alyssa, we're making um, we're making scones. You've had my scones before. That's kind of hard. Can you hear? Let's see. <laughs> okay, let's see. We might need a little more flour. Let me see. Get a little more flour. Hold on. Okay. Okay. So you see, watch. You can go like this and smash. See, so scoop and smash. Scoop and smash and see how it, then it starts to kind of my car I'm too come together. See how it's yep. like this. Okay. Um, why don't you wash your hands? Wash your hands and then after you wash your hands, check and see how those scones look. So then eventually it forms and it takes a long time. I've made lots of scones um, to make it into a ball. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, Daisy's back at my feet. Says Magnolia. They're eating the flour on the floor. Yeah. What? <laughs> the, the dogs are gluten free. This is not gluten free flour. I don't know if they're gluten free or not. But they might be. Oh, Melissa, guess who just joined? Huh. Not Pops, but. Bodie. Bodie. What's up, Bode? Uh, this is really cool. Bodie, you'll appreciate this. So I asked Melissa, Melissa and I are baking scones. I asked Melissa if she would um, go get a piece of paper to write the recipe. So she wrote it on the back of her beautiful painting. So when she is older, this is when you're older and you're like, I need my scone recipe, you'll say, oh, hold on, let me pull this piece of art off of the wall. Here's my scone recipe. <laughs> And I mean, her answers for her um, art final are on there as well. <laughs> on the back of her art. I mean, I love this niece. <laughs> She's great. She has this, like, free spirit that is absolutely unique to her. It's really special. How do those look? They're still kind of going. Okay. So the, the we did make, we made a, um, <clears throat> Bodhi's talking to you. There, see right down there. Hi, Bodhi. Oh, maybe we can ask Bodhi to join the live. There's and some, Pops. I don't know how you do that. Bodhi and Pops, if you can figure out how to join the live, we'll let you in. I, I don't know how to, to do it. I just know that I've joined Elliot's lives before. I'm going to wash my hands. There's Griff in the background. Oh, I think you pushed the little, like, FaceTime thing on it. If you can, you can probably figure it out. I don't know. Yes. <clears throat> oh. You have request, to request people oh, we, to join. Oh, we have no request to join. So then you take a baking sheet, and what do you do? You make them in your little triangles. But what's the first thing you do? You, what do you have to do before that? Oh, first, you sprinkle flour. Huh? This is gluten-free flour. It'll be okay. No, this is this is this is that flour. Sorry. <clears throat> so you sprinkle flour on the cookie sheet. That means that you can't have it because it has glue in it. Yeah, uh, but I'll eat the other ones. And then take the... But those ones have that, that flour in it too. Uh-uh. 
No, they don't. Mm. I made sure. Then take this and put it back and put it on there. And then make it into a circle. A circle. Yep. Make it into a circle. Awesome. And then cut it into triangles. Okay, how many? Eight. Yep, perfect. what I didn't teach you though okay so what I didn't teach you was the easiest way to cut it into eight is to cut it you might want to flip it over because it's going to be still cut it'll be well we'll see let's see so what you want to do is you cut it in half and then oh yeah cut it in cut it into fourths and then cut like it. that one's good and <coughs> Eights. It's just this one over here that we'll work with. And then this one is already good. And then this one, kind of cut it. So then so what we can do, well, no, we can just smash them together like that. See? Smash it yeah. like that. And that. Okay, then I'll let you finish moving them around. Okay. So if we have, how many, if, so if we have one and then we divide it into eight, how many would this be? Four. Four. Eight. Scones. Four scones, but four Out of eight, eight scones. which is how much of it? Half. Yeah. So one half. So four eights is the same as <laughs> what? One half. Okay, so here's here are the scones. They look amazing. And the other ones are about ready to come out of the oven. So we're going to put these in the oven. Can you eat them raw? They have raw eggs. I don't know. Oh, well, that's just gross. And they have okay. flour in it and a yeah. baking powder. Yeah, I probably don't eat them raw. Soda. Um, so we're going to go off live. We'll save it just in case somebody wants to watch it again. Yeah. I mean, you know, why wouldn't they want to watch us again? And, or make scones. Oh, there's Daniel. We're using cream. We're not using cream. We don't have any cream. Um, <laughs> I know. And um, we'll definitely take a couple pictures. Yeah. Right? When we're finished, and we'll give a report back of how they are. Yeah. Peace out. Subscribe to Goals and Techie on YouTube. Say bye. Bye. Okay. Let's see. How do I turn it off?